Hey guys, it's The Wanderer, and today I'm in a very, very special place to my heart. It is probably, no, it is, it is easily my favourite part of the town of Reading. I'm here in Green Park, and today I'm going to show you a lot of the beautiful sights, the sounds, the surrounding area of this pretty recently developed part of the town because around 20 years ago most of what you're about to see today wasn't even here. If you look on Google Maps for instance and have a look at some of the roads you can go back to 2009 a lot of the houses it was just nothing but grass so with that being said guys if you are new drop a like hit subscribe ring the bell to be notified and I'm just going to show you around this beautiful place today honestly if you're one of those people that don't rate the town of Reading highly, spend a few hours here, because it is absolutely beautiful. I'm the Wanderer, guys. Let's make a move. One thing you're definitely going to notice about this place as well is how quiet the roads are. Yeah, you get the occasional vehicle here and there, but every time I come here, you only really see a handful. And that is because you're mostly just going to see the people who live here and the people who work here. So the roads are probably going to be the busiest when the workforce leaves. Well, the first thing that strikes you is, have a look at these absolutely beautiful homes. If I found myself in a position where I woke up one day, checked my emails, and I got one from the lottery to say, hey, you've won. If I wanted to stay in Reading, I would absolutely be in one of these places, 100% because not only is it in such a beautiful part, and we haven't even touched the surface of it yet, it's also very, very close to a few things that I enjoy, and I will show you very, very shortly.
So we're just by a little pontoon here, as you can hear nature happening behind me. Um, how to enjoy the Green Park rowing boats. Now, in the couple years I've been walking through here when I walk the dog, I've not actually seen any rowing boats. Now, I'm assuming this is pandemic related because when we first got the dog and started walking her through here, this was purely like midst of, midst of COVID. So I haven't seen any rowing boats. I'd like it if they came back because I'd like to give them a shot. So we're just leaving the central part of Green Park now, although once again, I have only really touched the surface. There's so much you can see in terms of uh, wildlife, birds and so on. A lot of birds that I usually see didn't make an appearance today, unfortunately. Maybe they were a little bit camera shy, but honestly, if you like that kind of stuff, if you like seeing nature just do its thing, absolutely pop around here. But now I'm gonna take you to some places where you can actually do things, eat, drink, and enjoy the best game in the world. And by best game in the world, you know I'm talking about football. Right over that bridge there comes up to some steps. And when you get up those steps, you get to the Medeski Stadium. I'm still calling it the Medeski Stadium. I don't care what the name is. So if you live in Green Park, you're a stone's throw away from championship, <clears throat> possibly league one football. Shall we have a look? Let's do it. Before we head up those stairs and I show you my home away from home, a funny little story actually. I was walking the dog one day. This was last, towards the end of last summer. So she's still a puppy. She's still very, very, very energetic. And we're walking across this bridge here. We're walking across and imagine this place having a lot more, the trees having a lot more leaves, a lot more things that can cover. So I heard the voices of two gentlemen, but they were both wearing hats. Now because of the greenery, all I could see was hats. So I'm walking the dog and I'm going, come on, uh, come on Shadow, let's let these two gentlemen go. I'm showing you my POV from the day now. This was sort of like how it happened. So I'm going here and I'm going, let's go here Shadow, let's, let's, um, let's stay left, let's let these gentlemen through. And I'm there stroking the dog, making sure everything's okay. I then hear a voice that says, does it bite? And I look up and standing right there was Sir John Medeski himself. Honestly, one of those weird life encounters and we had a chat for a minute. We didn't even talk football. We just talked about the dog. And I'm just like, I just want to keep her away from you because she's, you know, she's not quite a year old yet and she's extremely hyper. But that was one of those sort of weird life moments. And there it is, guys. Medeski Stadium, literally just a stone's throw away from those residential areas. Lots of good times had here over the years, loads of good ones, few bad ones in recent years, but you know what, from where we were when I started supporting the team back in 91, we have come a long, long way. But the, probably the best memory when I came down here with my brother on the pitch when we clinched promotion against Nottingham Forest back in 2012. I hope we see those days again. That's it then really then guys, it's pretty much no secret to say that in the grand scheme of things, 
I've only really just touched the surface on what Green Park has to offer. But if you're into nature and you just love peaceful, really beautiful surroundings, you know, incredible photos you can take here, especially if you're really into cameras. If you're like proper professional photographer, the kind of nature shots you can get here are probably going to be out of this world. Um, I'm sure one thing I can show you is that once again, there's another shot of the stadium and a Costco. If you like Costco, there's a Costco there. So get your memberships in then <laughs> and get some decent, decent wholesale. With that being said, guys, I'm the Wanderer. Thank you for joining me around Green Park today. Any excuse really for me to enjoy this place. I absolutely love it here and it just never gets boring. So like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. I'll take you to a lot more places. Hit the notification bell so that you are uh, made aware when I upload. And I'll see you very soon. Bye for now. Please remind me, as a 34-year-old man, never to run up those ever again. Oh dear. And as you can see right behind me, uh, Reading's biggest fan. <laughs> I'll see myself out.